This easy sheet pan keto beef and broccoli takes a classic dish and makes it even easier. Cooked on one sheet pan it's ready in about 15 minutes. Keto, paleo and whole 30 friendly it's a delicious, healthy weeknight meal that is worth adding to the meal plan every week. With the start of the new year, comes the back to reality moments. Back to the easy weeknight meals, meal prepping, batch cooking and coming up with quick and simple ways to make sure you are prepared and ready. I am a big fan of one pot and one pan meals, recipes I can add to the instant pot or crock pot. I love meals that come together in 30 minutes. In the cooler months I am especially fond of sheet pan meals. If I can toss everything together on one pan and toss it into the oven, there's minimal cleanup, little babysitting and I can get dinner on the table in a jiffy. Perfect for those busy weeknights. This particular recipe, my easy sheet pan keto beef and broccoli, actually evolved from a stove top meal I had been making the last several months, a product of what I had on hand and what we loved the most, flavor-wise. I don't know if you are like me, but I tend to find a dish I love and continuously make it so many times until I basically don't actually want to see it again for 6 months. Then we begin again. Sheet pan keto beef and broccoli. I am smack in the middle of my love affair with this keto beef and broccoli recipe. This sheet pan keto beef and broccoli uses high quality grass fed beef, surrounded by lots of colorful veggies and so much flavor. All you could ever need at a meal. You can serve over cauliflower rice, regular rice or just in a bowl on its own. This recipe is especially great for batch cooking and meal prepping. I'll make the full recipe at the start of the week for a meal and we will enjoy the leftovers over the next couple of days. If you wish to freeze the leftovers for later, see the instructions below. Stove Top Alternate Instructions If you wish to make this on the stop top, simple heat a couple tablespoons of ghee or other high heat appropriate fat in a wok or a large pan over high heat. Add the broccoli and stir while cooking for 1-2 to two minutes. Remove to a plate. Make sure the pan is very hot and using tongs add the marinated beef in a single layer and cook a few minutes two to three, until it's browned on one side, try not to touch it for at least the first minute. Then turn the meat brown on the other side, another two to three minutes. Work in batches if necessary to avoid crowing the pan, so the beef will brown versus steam. Add the broccoli back to the pan with the beef along with the sauce. Stir to coat everything evenly, and cover. Cook until broccoli is bright green and crisp tender, done to your liking, about 3 minutes and sauce has thickened, just a tad. Stir it all together and serve however you'd like. Freeze it. Make extra or double this recipe, then freeze it in an airtight container. I have tested this and it turned out amazing. I allow it to defrost for a day or so in the fridge and then to reheat, I just place in a hot pan and cook till heated through. I enjoy it served over rice cauliflower. Notes. Ask your butcher to thinly slice your flank steak for you, most will do it. I get grass-fed flank steak at Whole Foods and the meat department is always happy to prep for me. Why is there baking soda in the marinade? Baking soda acts as a tenderizer for the meat, it really works. Isn't a starch like arrowroot not keto? Calm down. It's a small amount, added to thicken the sauce. You'll be fine. Trust. Using a marinade as a sauce safely after contact with raw meat. According to the Spruce Eats, you might think that because a marinade has acid or alcohol in it that this will kill the germs. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Enough contamination remains that you can get sick from a foodborne illness if you use the marinade for basting or a dipping sauce. The way to kill the germs and make the marinade safe is to boil it. This is an approved suggestion according to Diane Van of the USDA Meat and Poultry Hotline on the foodsafety.gov website. Pour any marinade or sauce that you have used on raw meats into a saucepan and bring it to a boil. This needs to be a complete, rolling boil to ensure that all the bacteria is killed. Remember that foodborne bacteria die at 165 F, 75 C. Once the marinade has reached a boil, remove from heat and allow to cool or serve immediately. We enjoy this sheet pan beef and broccoli over cauliflower rice. You can also serve over regular rice or just in a big OL bowl on its own. Add a handful of freshly chopped scallions, some sesame seeds and if you'd like a little heat, some red pepper flakes. Enjoy! Easy sheet pan keto beef and broccoli. Prep time 10 minutes cook time 15 minutes total time 25 minutes. 
Ingredients Beef and Broccoli 1 and a half pounds grass-fed flank steak, thinly sliced against the grain 4 cups fresh broccoli florets, or broccolini. Marinade 1 quarter cup coconut aminos, you can also use soy sauce or tamari, 1 half teaspoon coarse sea salt, 1 quarter cup sesame oil, 1 quarter teaspoon black pepper, 1 teaspoon arrowroot, potato, tapioca or corn starch, 1 quarter teaspoon baking soda. Sauce 2 tablespoons coconut aminos, you can also use soy sauce or tamari, 1 tablespoon sesame oil, you can also use avocado or olive oil, 1 teaspoon fresh minced garlic, or 1 quarter teaspoon garlic powder, 1 teaspoon fresh minced ginger, or 1 quarter teaspoon ginger powder, 1 teaspoon arrowroot, potato, tapioca or corn starch, optional for thickening, 1 half teaspoon fish sauce, optional. For serving. 4 scallions, sliced sesame seeds red pepper flakes, to taste cauliflower rice. Instructions. In a shallow dish, whisk together all the ingredients for the marinade. Toss the meat with the marinade, make sure it's all coated. Allow the meat to marinade 10 to 15 minutes while you prep the rest of the recipe, or refrigerate and marinate up to 8 hours, or overnight. Preheat the oven to 425 F. In a small bowl, mix together the sauce. On a large rimmed sheet pan, add the broccoli, pour over the sauce and toss to mix and coat well. Arrange the broccoli in a single layer on the sheet pan. Using tongs, add the marinated beef to pan with broccoli. Leave room between everything, do not crowd the meat or the broccoli, use two sheet pans, if needed. You don't want to steam the food. Place on the tray in the oven and bake for 10 to 15 minutes, until the steak is done to your liking and broccoli is just tender. If you wish to brown everything up a little bit more, give the pan 2 minutes under the broiler, on high, until the steak and broccoli begins to lightly char. Remove the pan from the oven. Add scallions and sesame seeds, red pepper flakes, if you'd like. Serve immediately right from the pan over bowls of cauliflower rice, or regular rice, optional step, if you'd like to thicken the sauce from the pan further, once the meal is done cooking drain the sauce from the sheet pan into a small pot, you can also add the remaining marinade, but see above notes, and bring to a rolling boil. Cook the sauce for 5 to 7 minutes until it reaches the desired consistency, then pour it back over the beef and broccoli just before serving. Notes Recipe Notes, you can add more broccoli, up to 6 cups, if you'd like, but I would suggest cooking this on two large sheet pans, so you don't crowd the pans. Try adding 1 cup shiitake mushrooms to the broccoli for a fun variations. Leave out sesame oil, sesame seeds and red pepper flakes for AIP. Leave out garlic for low FODMAP see above notes for making this on the stove top.